It's the debate that could change a nation in a tightly fought race. With Kamala Harris and Donald Trump neck and neck in the polls, both needed a knockout blow. They right threw him out of a campaign like a dog. We don't even know, is he our president? But we have a president, Mr. president. that doesn't know he's alive. It's important to remind the former president, you're not running against Joe Biden, you're running against me. You know, there's a great saying about debates and political circles here, which is that uh, both candidates did what they had to do. And I, and I think it's weirdly true tonight. Uh, Kamala Harris was really introducing herself for the first or at most second time to the American public. Trump made this debate very much about himself. He, he wanted to show that he was strong, uh, if anything, over muscular at times. He was bombastic at others. You know, his folks liked that. Congress passes a bill to put back in place the protections of... You're going to hear from the same old tired playbook a bunch of lies. It began with bread and butter, the economy, but quickly turned fiery over political hot potatoes, the candidates clashing over abortion. Harris's best issue with uh, in the polling is abortion, for sure. Uh, and she was uh, using that as a, a kind of her pivot, kind of her go-to issue whenever she could to hit Trump on the abortion issue and uh, accentuate this uh, uh, advantage that she has with women voters in particular. Watching from the sidelines was Rahini Kasolyu, who helped Kamala Harris prepare for the debate confirming abortion is resonating with voters. There's no question that in this election, the two, two of the most salient issues that, we, that the vice president has talked about hearing around the country are people's access to re their reproductive rights and their freedoms. And then she's also heard, you know, what really is at stake in this election is people um, knowing that they feel that democracy is really on the line. On immigration, Kamala Harris didn't need any bait for Donald Trump. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. <laughs> you talk about extreme. That's his way of putting a pointed end on the immigration issue. Uh, he's going after working class voters. He's, this, is, this is the coalition he put together to win in 2016. To live in America these days and to cover the, uh, or watch the political campaign is to uh, endure a nonstop stream of unbelievable uh, stories, uh, most of which are impossible to confirm. Though this one turns out to be uh, confirmable uh, in that it's not true. Donald Trump continued to deny he incited the January 6th Capitol riot an appalling day in American history. He clearly played a role in it. I don't understand why he's defending the people who engaged in terrible behavior. Now it's a debate that repeated itself on the question of who is the biggest danger to the Constitution and who caused January 6th. And by that point in the debate, after an hour, the debate began to kind of dissolve and devolve into a series of, uh, you know, of name calling and you're bad, you know, you're worse, uh, which wasn't very helpful. Donald Trump actually has no plan. Kamala Harris went into the debate having done only one formal interview, raising questions about her willingness to face media scrutiny. This debate, I think, did two things. It did not knock Kamala Harris out of contention. In fact, I think it made her a stronger candidate. And it reminded people of what Donald Trump is like and will be like. And some people like that stuff and some people don't. She clearly is his match in, in a debate style format. So she kind of showed she can do these things. Is it enough to get her into the lead in this race in a comfortable way? I don't think so. She, ha she really hasn't fleshed out her policy positions on a lot of things. Uh, but otherwise, it was very vague and very undefined message of joy and hope or something and positivity and looking to the future and rejecting the past. That's all fine, but you really need to put some meat on those bones. There's just nothing there. Very important debate. After the debate, Donald Trump fronted the media, lashing the host broadcasters. Well, I think the moderators were very unfair. Uh, I actually thought they were just average. And delivered his own verdict on his opponent. Uh, this was my best debate. I thought it was very good. I thought she was very weak on foreign policy. 
Kamala Harris celebrated with supporters. As I said on the debate stage, we are not going back. What you heard from President Harris was, uh, Vice President Harris was how she's going to unite the country and move us forward. Millions of people around the world were watching the debate, including expat Democratic supporters at this pub in Sydney. I think Kamala Harris held herself very, very well. No, I'm glad that I watched it and I'm glad that I'm going to be voting and I'm even more uh, motivated this year than I have been.